Setting great cue points is the best way to stay organized and prepared for your DJ performances. And in this video, I'm going to show you the best ways to set cue points in the DJ Pro app for the Mac. So when you first start this app, you may be wondering where the cue points are because it's not really obvious. You can't see any visual cue points except for these temporary cue points down here. So the way this app separated the features is there are kind of add-ons and expansions. So one way is to open what they call the toolbar, which is going to be this button up here at the top left. And now it may be on loops, it may be on the grid, but the way to change which tools you're using is this little selection here. So if we go to the left, now we are in our cue points section down here. You have eight cue points for each track. There's a little drop down menu with some additional features that I'll get to later in this tutorial. And another way to to see your cue points is going to be up here, top right. It opens another kind of toolbox and you get a bunch of different features. You could have your effects, you could have your cue points and you could select them for each individual deck, which is cool. So if you wanted to have your cue points while you could see your effects, that then you could do that. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave both of these screens open so you guys can follow along and see how to do it both ways at the same time. So to set a cue point, what we're gonna do is select the spot in the song. You could either move the jog wheel or you could just scrub through with this with these waveforms up here. So we'll find the spot to set our cue point. Now all you have to do is find an available box that doesn't have anything on it, and then either press it on here or press it up here. Now you get a cue point. This app has color-coded cue points, so it's going to assign a color randomly, but there is a way to change it, which I'm going to show you right now. So to edit your cue points and, and delete them, you could press the pencil button up here or the pencil button over here. And then now you're just going to go, you see this hidden drop-down menu that just popped up? You're going to press that, and then you could name your cue points. I'm going to name this start. A, a quick tip is... I like to mark the start and stop points of every song that I put in my playlist. This way, when I load up the song, I know a good idea of where I could mix in and mix out. So I'm going to do start, and then I'm going to leave this like the green color, or maybe that's yellow. I'm colorblind. So now we have our cue point over here. If you wanted to delete the cue point, you could press the X and it will delete. So let's just add another one. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do it on this screen now. Press it, and it is going to pop up with a random color and the time where the cue point is. So we could just change the name to end. And the reason it's happening on both sides is because I have the same track selected. So these cue points are going to stay on in the app every time you load them up. If you're using the app on the same device, your cue points will be saved. Gets a little complicated if you want to have your cue points saved on your laptop and on your iPad and on your phone and have them all be, be the same. For now, I just make separate cue points and it takes a lot of time. So we have our cue points here. You could set up to eight. If you have the pencil selected, you can delete them. Another thing that you could do is there are these advanced features, like I said before. So you press the drop down menu and then the first one is going to be pitch cue. This is going to take the cue point that you made and it's going to play it in different pitches, either high pitch or low pitch. So high pitch, low pitch. This is a feature for DJ tricks if you want to do kind of like a drumming or kind of make your own rhythms or beats with uh, with your tracks. You could use your cue points and then do that really cool feature and you could get really creative with it. Next is Slice. Same type of thing, it slices, slices it up kind of for like juggling and doing DJ tricks. Really cool feature. The next one is going to be a very important one, and that is going to be skip. So this is a great tool to help you know where to set your cue points. So a good way to mix is you can mix 16 beats in, 32 beats in, and then you want to try to mix in both songs so that the so that the beats are lined up and your mixes go smoothly. So if you wanted to start this mix, let's say we wanted to start this mix 16 beats in, you select how many beats you want over here, and then you could either go forward or backwards. So we have 16, we're going forward. So if I wanted to set a cue point 16 beats in, I could easily do this without having to do any math, without having to do any, without having to count the bars or, or like look at the screen. So this is a really cool feature and it really helps you set up your cue points. So right here we have this one. I'm just going to write 16 beats. So that is how you find your, 
beat skipper so definitely make cue points for every song that you put into your playlist it'll make your djing more seamless and it will kind of you'll have more fun while you're djing and then everyone else that you're djing for will have more fun so at least mark the start and end points of the cue point and if you guys want to learn how to make playlists in this amazing app for the mac check out this video over here